How to make nanocarbon alloy? I know that by heart it's simple. Just take two ammonium ore and mix them with hydrogen so that you can get hydrazine which you mix with graphite to make graphene then amalgamate it with titanium and nitrogen to obtain titanium alloy which you incorporate with helium and steel that is made by uniting carbon and iron and finally you get nanocarbon alloy. <sighs> Easy right? Oh, someone bring me an oxygenator. I'm not feeling too good. And that's exactly why you need a nanocarbon alloy farm. That cannot possibly be done by hand. I mean, it's even hard to pronounce. Not only it takes a lot of time and resources to make nanocarbon alloy, but you will need it to make some of the coolest items, large resource canisters, RTGs, and portable oxygenator. So there is no doubt you're gonna need an automatic nanocarbon alloy farm. You are very fortunate because today you will learn how to make a professional one. First things first, on these four platforms we can place our four raw resources, organic, hematite, titanite and graphite. I chose this platform so that you can place any storage on it, even large canisters. And now something interesting, do you know these platforms in the research catalog that nobody knows what they're for? And it turns out that they're actually useful. Place four of them with two odd arms each and snap a smelting furnace on the first three. In this way, organic will be transformed in carbon, hematite in iron, and titanite in, guess what, titanium. On the fourth platform, place a chemistry lab that is going to feed from the graphite platform and from the hydrazine deposit to make graphene. And before you ask, yeah, graphite and graphene are two different things apparently. So where does the hydrazine come from? Like I said in my hydrazine auto farm video, we're going to expand the hydrazine auto farm to supply the nanocarbon alloy farm, since we're going to need hydrazine too here. If you haven't watched it yet, I will post a link at the end of this video. So you may want the two farms to be reasonably close to each other. An auto arm will supply the hydrazine, and let me show you a pro trick. Don't tell anyone. If you hit quickly the button to start and stop dispensing hydrazine from the flute canister, you will get a half empty or half full canister of hydrazine. If you want to spare hydrazine, use these ones as a resource filter in the auto arms. Smash the like button now if you're going to use this trick. I know what you're thinking now. I will use these half empty hydrazine canisters to supply the chemistry lab. Sorry to be a bearer of bad tidings, but you can use them to supply the chemistry lab if you're willing to do it manually, as currently there is a bug or maybe a smart anti-cheat feature that does not leave space for graphite in the chemistry lab slot if you're using an auto arm to supply half empty canisters of hydrazine. In doubt, just use full ones. Now to the chemistry lab section. These refined resources need to be combined together with gases in order to make more refined resources. Is that a thing? More refined? Refinedest? Whatever. Carbon and iron are going into this chemistry lab to produce steel, along with argon, something you can find on Glacio or Persenia. No, don't put it in my backpack! And by the way, the doctor said they needed more iron, not carbon. Titanium and graphene are mixed with nitrogen to produce titanium alloy. Finally, steel and titanium alloy are blended to helium to produce our so longed for nanocarbon alloy. If you know the name of the only planet where you can produce helium, help the astronaut community and write down below in the comment section its name. And now you are only two steps away to becoming a professional astronaut. First, Consider subscribing to my channel so that you won't miss out my weekly astronaut videos. And second, power the farms up. With a power switch and a power splitter, you can decide whether you want only one farm to work or both at the same time. Make sure you have enough power so that the last platform socket turns yellow. By combining these two farms, you will never run out of hydrazine nor nanocarbon alloy. Now you can just sit down and relax and maybe watch my videos of top 9 things to do in Astroneer. This was Kuya Game, stay safe, see you next week.